If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Oh, Thousand Road subscribers and followers. Well, here it is, mid-November, and I'm walking along a river, Merrimack River. It's near Stanton, Missouri. It actually goes like most of the southeast Missouri. That's the side point. The reason I brought you down here is to talk about how we end up putting our dreams and adventures on hold when the winter months come around. And the reason I got thinking about this was a little thing I saw on Facebook the other day. And it says, we travel not to escape life, but to, uh, but to uh, not have life escape us. It really got me to thinking about it. Here we are, we're in Missouri again, you know. Uh, said it several times, take care of a sick family member. Which means I have, I really put my dream on hold, Carolyn's dream, we're both, you know, on board with this. Um, but it also got me thinking about my past. When the winter months come around, you lock yourself in the house, you don't do much, kind of winter hibernation. It's a big time for people to to uh, get into some sort of you know winter depression. Holidays come around, and you know Thanksgiving's coming up. And we're all going to talk about what we're thankful for. But that particular day, in my mind, is a very dreadful day. You know what? What do you really do? Either you're traveling from family member to family member's house, making sure you don't make anybody mad. Or, you're very busy preparing meals for all the family. When they leave, the place is a mess. And so, it just seems to me like it's a very busy day. And, you know, we talk about being thankful. We're thankful for family. Um, you know, whatever you're thankful for. So, we lose sight of our life. We lose sight of the, you know... Life is escaping us because right here, look at this. I've taken the time to come back out so life doesn't escape me. And the thing that really got me thinking about this was this, this little phrase. And I started putting all these little dots and connections together. Is if you look at the pop-up camper groups on Facebook, They've died. They, they are not growing. You know, one of the groups I'm in, uh, pop-up camper fans, and I'm not trying to advertise it, but uh, July and August, it went from 100, well, I actually joined that when it had three people, three members. That was in May. By August, it had 5,000. And that all happened in July and August. Well, it's still in the 5,000s. Hasn't grown any more since. Which tells me we've all just decided to put our, our adventure on hold. Let life pass us by so we can enjoy the holidays, which I'm convinced we're not really enjoying. We're doing. And I think a lot of people talk about, you know, it's all commercialized and all that, which I agree with, it is. These holidays are very commercialized. Why are we putting ourselves through all of that? I'm not suggesting nobody celebrate the holidays. Carolyn and I will. But why does it have to be so traditional? Why does it have to be that, you know, we got to do all these things that society tells us to do? When, in all actuality, I might bring a turkey dinner right here. Literally, right here. And watch this river while I eat turkey. Because I don't want life to pass me by. Anyway, I hope that uh, you will get back into living your dream. Uh, you know, go back to the Facebook groups. Talk about camping this summer. Heck, talk about camping this winter. We're doing it. Um, if you got any questions on how to stay warm, I've got a couple videos on that too. I'll put the latest one right here. So.
Anyway, thanks for watching. Be, Be sure, sure to subscribe. subscribe. Hit like, like the video. And happy travels. <laughs>